This is a game that I have known has been coming for quite a while now. Tanto Cuore from Play Deck Games. It's a deck building game similar to ones they've done in the past. So let's take a look and see how this one does on iOS. In Tanto Cuore, your goal is to collect Japanese maids in a deck building style. You have your basic dominion values of currency and then you can use these to buy maids that are victory point cards, maids that have abilities, or hired maids which give you an ongoing ability in the game. Another part of the game is you can make certain maids into chamber maids. This means if you use a certain number of actions you can take them and put them in a special collection that is out of your deck but where they will still continue to give you victory points at the end of the game and can be affected by certain bad habit cards that are the purple cards seen above and can be given to you by other players. The first thing you're going to notice about the game is the art. It's done in a Japanese anime style and most of it is tasteful while some of it is a little bit on the edgy side. Um, this is going to limit the playability by many parties and uh, users so definitely be aware of that going into this that if you're uncomfortable with this style that definitely is not a game for you. And it's a bit of a shame because it's not something I'm really comfortable with, but underneath the style is actually some pretty interesting mechanics. Uh, the way the game works is a lot like Dominion, however there's a lot more going on in terms of control of your deck and control of the victory points at the end of the game. You really can use those bad habits to slow other players down much more than a curse because they're actually targeting their very victory points at the end of the game in a very direct manner. The game clearly feels like a play deck deck building game. It has a lot of similarities to Ascension as well as the Penny Arcade game. There definitely are some new menus here and new touches, though overall I did feel it felt a lot the same and was even a little more confusing this time as there's a lot more going on, a lot of different sub menus, and a lot of targeting that kind of seemed a little bit difficult to pull off where you need to pull one card to a certain card on the side, which you'll see here, and then pull that card to another player. What you're seeing here is AI play, and I have to tell you, I'm not very good at board games most of the time, even though I play a lot of them, and uh, generally, easy AIs can beat me the first time around, but really here, uh, there's some pretty powerful combos that you can pull off that the AI really just doesn't fathom, so the easy AI is pretty easy, however, the higher levels are more of a challenge. The game features uh, some pretty standard features from Playdeck. There are the settings, which allow you to adjust animation speed, confirmations, as well as your volume. Uh, you also have the card gallery, which uh, I'll scroll through quickly here, which shows some of the different art on the cards. Um, if you're wondering if this game art is for you, you may want to pay attention here, as this will show you kind of a brief smattering of what's available in the game. The game does feature a great tutorial. It's what taught me the game I hadn't played before. And it was really helpful in learning the different uh, parts of the game as well as the UI since there are quite a few complications here. Um, there is a written rule book, however, that can guide you through the game, which is pretty well done and uh, does a good job of explaining the different elements. Uh, there are also credits uh, showing some of the staff of Playdeck as well as uh, other information. The online play here is what you'd expect from Playdeck. Uh, very well done. Uh, you have a great server to use from and lots of players to play with. Um, you'll be using your login that you've maybe established in Ascension, Agricola, or uh, Summoner Wars. From there, you'll be able to get into the game and play with others. You can play with your Game Center friends or friends you've made through the Playdeck system. You can also join games that are open and create your own games. Uh, there also is a player profile which kind of describes what you've done and uh, how you've done in different games and if you forfeit games. Uh, you also have the ability to play with up to four players, which is really nice and definitely adds a lot to the game when you're playing more than just head to head. Sorry about my voice, something's giving out tonight. Uh, but the game is a very well done mechanically game. There's a lot going on, it's more than Dominion and definitely has a lot more that you can learn and a lot more that you, you can exploit in this game. The combos that you can pull off are just amazing and actually quite fun. Uh, one shame is that the theme, which will not appeal to everyone, will be one hamper for many people in the game. So that's definitely something to be aware of, and I think this video has given you a clear picture of what you'll be getting into if you do purchase this game. If you just saw my previous struggle, I was trying to figure out how to place a card in a certain area. Um, I then figured out that I need to place it on the character and then give it to my opponent rather than just giving it directly to my opponent. I think that the UI design here has been made a little bit confusing and has made it a little tricky to carry out some actions that seem simpler than they actually are to do. Uh, this again will change based on different players, but in my opinion, having played lots of these games, I feel like this definitely could be improved and the targeting areas of some actions could also be enlarged. In summary, the app design just does not feel as polished as other Playdeck designs and there's really not a ton new going on design-wise here. The positive note is that if you like Penny Arcade and you like Ascension, then you'll feel right at home here. 
If you're a fan of Playdex deck builders and this theme appeals to you, then this definitely is something you should check out. Personally, I'm a little middling on the game. Uh, it definitely has some great mechanics. However, the theme combined with some UI issues kind of prevent it from being a classic in my collection. 